the North America Cup, the Meadowlands pace, now the Breeders' Crown, the Colt for the Millennium. Gallo Blue Chip wins the Breeders' Crown by close to eight lengths. Trainer Mark Ford is celebrated as one of the youngest horsemen in history to reach many milestones. The youngest to reach 10 million in earnings, the youngest to reach 20 million in earnings, the only trainer to take two million dollar races before the age of 30. Some of Mark's early success can be attributed to this rambunctious pacer who can truly be remembered as a titan of the track. We bought Gallo Blue Chip in the, in the summer of 99 at Pocono. Uh, we've been looking for, a, looking for a horse to race in New York Sire Stakes, Martin Sharp and myself. It was a lot more than we thought we wanted to pay, but it was just one of those things that worked out. It was one of the most talented horses I've ever seen. But he didn't have a very good attitude. He had my doubts whether he would come back as a, a three-year-old or not. Greatest attribute that he didn't—he he didn't need a, a trip to win. He was um, a horse that did everything on his own. A lot of pressure was on the, a young fella from a small town in West Virginia, and um, he came through obviously in flying colors. He was undefeated as two, and then he come back as a three-year-old, and he started making breaks. He went on to, to win the North America Cup very unexpectedly. You know, you look back, I think that was when he really turned the corner and become our top contender. He's moving away from the field. The ultimate blue chip investment was... Among his many accolades, the fiery grandson of Albatross was honored in both 2000 and 2001 for his success on Canadian soil. During that short time, Gallo Blue Chip had won nine of 12 races on the Wegg circuit, which included the only sub-150 mile in Canadian pacing derby history. The prep for that race one week earlier made him the richest pacer of all time. Gallo Blue Chip retired in 2005 with purse earnings of over $4.2 million, surpassing the record once held by the great Nihilator. Tremendous failing of accomplishment to do that, that uh, you know, no one had ever done it before. And you're talking, now you're talking horses like Nihilator, Nihilator, you know, all the big three-year-olds that uh, it, really, it, it really meant something. Yeah, a little blue chip, he was something special. Even the judge gave you, uh, you get the 9-0, I like get Fox to the three quarter, and he still win the race. Like I told you, just a winner. Mark was doing a good job to keep him sharp, keep him good all the time, you know, all year round. I can't say enough for Doobie, too. I mean, he fit him very well, and I really give him a lot of the credit for, you know, he was a, he was a tough horse to drive. Frank Salif made a great announcement. If you would watch the Breeders' Crown again live, he had said as he was going down the stretch, he had, he had called him the horse of the millennium. Obviously, uh, and that was great for me to hear, but he was impressed with Gallo also the, in the ease and how he beat his foes. A 13 is a pretty important birthday in, in my tribe, so uh, I'm happy that Gallo made it to his 13th birthday. I don't know, and no one will ever know how horses rate from year to year, but I know for sure he was the best of 2000, and he was probably the best order pacer in 2001. And with that being said, you know, it's very, uh, I'm very honored to have had that chance to at least have had one. And if another one comes along, well then that, that'll be great, but if it doesn't, I've had mine, and uh, he changed my life forever.